Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot Tarot. Shaking the camera while I'm trying to do the read. <laughs> um, hey, um, I did a four card poll to see how your person feels about you, what they think about you, uh, what are their intentions, and what are their actions. Um, so I did it from the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck, this one right here. Um, so I kind of, I, I hate to say this, I hope you don't have them on a pedestal. Um, because Gemini, I don't like this person. I don't even, I feel, I feel uncomfortable doing this read because I, when I looked at it for how they feel about you, I pulled the six of wands that shows a person that thinks you're just kind of like a notch on their bedpost. You like, you're just, you know, someone they're killing time with, um, just an option. It's like they, they're kind of arrogant. Like they almost feel better than you. Like they can do better. That's not cool. Well, so how, what do they think of you overall? An option, seven of cups. And I was like, oh no, I don't like where this is going. So I know there's, there's probably a lot of uh, Geminis out there with Venus and Cancer. So you're kind of, I don't want to say you're letting yourself be in a doormat for somebody. I hope not. Uh, but I mean, they almost see you as a, like a possession. Um, they're not even, they're not realistic with their expectations and love. I mean, look at them. They're just, they're looking at all these different choices. You're just a choice. And they're looking for the perfect partner. Well, you're not perfect. Nobody is. They're not going to find a perfect person. That perfect person doesn't exist. Um, so what are their intentions? Um, the king of pentacles. They, they plan to see what they can get from you. What kind of person is that? It's like, can they use you? Hmm, Gemini, I don't like that. Um, they're going to act stubborn and see if they can get their way. Um, but then what are they, that's their intentions. What are they actually going to do? A ton of swords. Um, they're, they're kind of giving up. They're having like a, almost a mental breakdown. <laughs> what kind of person is it? it? And they're all in their head. And I feel like there's some Geminis out there that are dating people that have placements in Virgo. Because Virgo has a tendency, sometimes the shadow side of Virgo is to, to look for the perfect person. And then to be all in your head and overanalyze stuff. Um, to be paralyzed by fear. So, I don't know who you're dealing with, but this person sees you as an option. That's not cool. Um arrogant like they can do better come on that's the kind of person you're dealing with you can do better <laughs> you can do better <laughs> let me tell you something I, I i feel like i'm almost reading and i wonder if it's an air sign thing i don't remember have i done aquarius yet because libra i just said libra um and libra was dealing with an a-hole kind of person and this sounds like an a-hole uh, male or female doesn't matter or fluid gender i don't know but whoever this is that you're dealing with it almost sounds like the kind of person Libra is dealing with. And I hope to God you're not dealing with somebody who just sees you as an option and is just trying to use you until something better comes along in their eyes. Because dump them. <laughs> so, let's see. I just want to get an idea. Um, let's take a look and see how you feel about them. Uh, because I don't like that reading at all. I was like, what? And I do not like giving what I consider bad like a bad, you know, um, a negative reading or, oh, this person's terrible, dump them. I don't want to do that. By the way, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the people that um, have liked and shared and subscribed. I meant to say that at the beginning. Um, I'm actually kind of shocked at how many tarot readers there are on, are on YouTube. Um, in fact, one of the ones that I look up to big time has, I don't know if they're going through a crisis of confidence or what, but they're acting a little bit desperate lately, so... I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to say thank you, and I appreciate everybody who's hit like, share, and subscribe. I'll just put it that way. Thank you. I've watched my, my subscription number go up, 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 and I love it. <laughs> love it. Um, so let's see how you feel about them, and you probably think you already know, but let's just take a, an honest look. And for anybody who's, um, you know, dealing with a Gemini that wants to spy and see how the person feels, well, let me just give you a little hint. <laughs> uh, so let's see how do you feel about them all right 
Got the King of Wands. Not exactly showing a lot of emotion. More of a do it and not talk about it kind of person. As far as you're feeling about them, um, feeling pretty solid and stable. Although, maybe a little bit stubborn yourself. Um, so, your thoughts of them? Oh, man. Feeling kind of stuck. Or you're thinking. You're, you're thinking of them. How you think of them. You think of them um, as somebody who you, you can't, you're not sure how to make a move with. You don't know how to move. You got the hangman. This is what you're thinking. You're thinking it's, you're almost like stuck, trapped. <laughs> if you do feel trapped, get out of that relationship. My God, just get out. Uh, I know that's easier said than done. You know, it's easy for me to say that. But um, What are your intentions? Oh, I got two cards. Come on, shuffle again. Shuffle, shuffle. Uh, what are your intentions? Your intentions. Well, you do want to work on it with them. What are your actual actions? What are you actually going to do? And this is for, you know, cross readers or whatever. Uh, chariot. You're going to want to move forward. You're going to actually take action. So, all right. Maybe take action to kick them to the curb. Um, so what is the next seven, what's the next three days? What are the next three days? Actually, before we even do that, let's see what the cards say about their advice to you. I know what my advice is, but let's just see what the cards say for their advice to you on this situation. How to handle the situation. Because I don't like this person. I can tell you right now. I am not their biggest fan. You may like them. You might have them on a pedestal, but I would love to knock them off the pedestal. Because I don't like the way they come across. You don't deserve that. Um, you have to make a decision. I have a hard time doing that. Um, it's King of Cups. Let's give me one more card. One more card that gives us an idea. Hmm. Well, they're both Cups cards. You got um, two of Swords where you got to make a decision. Um, but then King of Cups and Six of Cups. Feel like you're gonna look back over the past and it's almost showing that showing it's advising you to share love, but but at the same time, yeah, we know how we handle those cards that hit the floor, right? But I can see when all oh, the tower is sticking up. <laughs> yeah, this gonna be a tower moment. Um, so I'm not gonna the ones that are face down. I'm not picking them up. I'm not picking up any. We don't pick up cards that hit the floor. Yep. That one was the fall. Let it it was the hermit card, by the way. Jesus man, what kind of <laughs> what kind of reading? Well, the world's worst shuffler, right? Um, so we already saw the tower card, so we know there's gonna be some changes made. You're gonna you got a decision to make in this and it may be out of your hands. The decision may come along. The universe might protect your ass, so I actually like that. Um, so the next three days, 72 hours, what do we have in store for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yeah, I don't like the sneakiness. <laughs> we get the Seven of Swords, that's sneaky, Shady McShadester. Um, but then there's going to be a, no, and it's a Knight, <laughs> Knight of Cups. Be a love offer, of course there is. Um, and then, there you are, Two of Wands. I just feel like there's gonna be some shadiness, but then there's gonna be a love offer. Almost like if you say, you know what, I've, I've had it, I'm done. All of a sudden they come forward with, oh wait, no, I love you. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Shady McShadester. Look, look at this. Shadiness, the next 72 hours. Two of Wands. It's like you're waiting to see what they're gonna do. And that might be it. You're like holding back. That that King of Cups, you're holding back. <laughs> yes. Oh, and then they come rushing in. Look at that. That's exactly what it is. They're going to try to be sneaky. Not 
keep you in the dark, be sneaky. So you're going to hold back and see what they do. And by you holding back and not making a move, then they're going to come rushing in with some spiciness. But at the same time, they're going to want to offer you love. So they're probably going to want to argue with you and fight, but then they'll offer you love. If they are treating you like an option, don't even feel the slightest bit bad about dumping them in their ass. Uh, where are we at? We're at 10 minutes. Um, I mean, you could check back in. This is if you have Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Gemini. You can look at your other placements, readings, um, to see what else we have to say. Um, I'll pick those cards up in a minute. So let's just get a feel-good advice from uh, the Oracle cards. Trust that an ending is followed by a beginning. <laughs> of course it is. We know it is, isn't it? <laughs> the tower and then the cup of love. <laughs> Baby, I love you. Why aren't you talking to me? So let's see what kind of shit Donna's destiny cards stir up. <laughs> oh, these are always fun. Uh, blank cards are like um, wild cards. Anything's possible. They're usually considered positive. <laughs> watch divorce coming <laughs> or some shit um all right six cards for gemini sun moon rising and venus what we got stop being petty uh, i don't think you're the one being petty but okay if you are stop being petty um dump them ah see dump them and then they could be like but but baby i love you <laughs> sure of course you do now that's the way it always happens. When you, you're like, I've had enough of this crap, and you dump them, then all of a sudden they get their priorities straight, right? All of a sudden you're not just an option. Um, vehicle problems. Yeah, watch out for that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Lots of sex. <laughs> um, make them put in more effort. Dump them to make them put in more effort. Whatever. Whatever you gotta do. Um, oh, yeah. Then they love you. Then they love you. Yeah, okay. People always want what they can't have. You dump them and then all of a sudden they're like, wait. Um, who are we reading for next? Uh, that would be Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus will be doing your reading next. I don't think we did that one yet. Oh, yeah, Scorpio. Ooh. So if you know anybody that's Scorpio, watch out because uh, I already remember one thing about the reading. I haven't even finished the whole thing yet but I remember I saw there's a possibility of a third party situation going on there anyway um so thank you to everyone who has um, liked and shared and subscribed I appreciate it and um yeah <laughs> don't be afraid to dump their butt because you're not just an option right all right talk to you later